Good evening, everyone. This is John Thomas, the Mad Hedge Fund Trader, broadcasting you to you live from Silicon Valley in California. There is an absolutely raging thunderstorm going on outside, so I hope we keep our power on for at least the next 45 minutes and we can get through this webinar. I see there are a lot of people pouring in looking like we'll max out this webinar with attendance. Uh, I'll allow a few more uh, seconds to come in and for people to come in and then we'll get the show on the road. And thank you very much for attending today's webinar. We put a lot of hard work into this, but we think the opportunities for you going forward with investments in tech stocks are absolutely enormous. That said, let me get started. I'm going to talk about how to increase your income from tech stocks 10 times. Yes, you can actually make that amount of money in tech stocks in a year with the specific stocks and the uh, instruments that we recommend. Uh, I bet most of you would be happy with just a double. Yeah, you can do that with ordinary stocks. Non-leverage, no margin. Yes, there are plenty of doubles in the coming year in tech, and we'll talk about those in a second. Uh, why listen to me? Well, for a start, I do have 50 years of experience in the global financial markets, 10 years as the economist correspondent in Tokyo, Japan, and later the White House, 10 years running the International Equity Division at Morgan Stanley, little brief time out as a Marine combat pilot in Desert Storm, uh, that's the one in the early 90s that only took uh, place over three days. Ten years running the first international dedicated hedge fund. Five years fracking for natural gas in Texas. And I still have some oil under my fingernails from that one. And now 11 years publishing the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader. I am one of a handful of founders of the modern hedge fund industry. We're still working and still breathing. Uh, this is the other reason to listen to me, uh, performance. This is our performance for the last 12 months, one of the most difficult trading times in market history, uh, where we got a four times a century type sell-off. <clears throat> that was the meltdown we saw in the fourth quarter. And as you can see, we made 31.68% uh, on a trailing one-year basis, up mostly in the first half, sideways in the second half when the market was going to hell in a handbasket. Most people will take that down, that, that kind of return all day long in return, which saw the Dow down 6% on a year and a lot of leading tech stocks down 50% or more in the last six months. Yeah, we can play defense with the best of them. That's often where you make your money on the downside and not on the upside. Do you think I was just lucky last year? Let me throw in my nine-year average annualized return, and you can see we basically make money in all market conditions, whether they're going up, down, or sideways. Yes, we have averaged 33.9% over the last nine years. That is not too shabby of a return. There are five surprises that will dictate trading performance during 2019. The government shutdown will end quickly, and by that I mean the end of January. The Chinese trade war ends. The House makes no move to impeach the president, focusing on domestic issues instead. Britain votes to rejoin Europe. Uh, uh, Brexit gets tossed into the ash can of history. The Mueller investigation concludes that Trump has an unpaid parking ticket in Queens from 1974, and that's it. If all of the above happens, it is hugely risk positive for stock market and will trigger a monster technology stock rally. We've already seen the first two weeks of that rally. It's going to continue. Who won the midterm elections? The answer is you did. Gridlock markets present the best possible back backdrop for stock market performance, no matter who won. Gridlock Congress means that no major changes will be made to the economy or the tax structure. It freezes everything as it is. It also means no new regulation for the technology industry. That is huge. The seminal investment theme of our lifetimes. Since World War II, technology has rocketed from 1% of US stock market capitalization to 25%. 
and it's on its way to 90 percent eventually all companies will become tech ones or they will cease to exist over 50 percent of retail sales have been online in 2018 with one company amazon accounting for half the growth let me get this back The earnings of tech companies are going 50% faster than non-tech ones. Why anyone wastes their time with non-tech stocks, I have no idea. Occasionally, the nimble can catch a brief trading rally, but that's about it. The long-term trend is with tech. Technology sector has been the top performer since the 2009 market bottom and will continue to do so. Uh, NASDAQ, here's a chart for the last six months, and yeah, that was some sell-off in Q4, uh, but if you could stay in business during that time, the opportunity of the decade, if not the century, set itself up. At the bottom of the Christmas Eve massacre on December 24th, we got a six-month capitulation low for the entire down move at 14 times earnings. That's down from 20 times earnings, only three months before. This was the sharpest valuation sell-off in market history, uh, possibly uh, challenging the 1929 crash. A record 53 billion in mutual fund equity outflows uh, the first two weeks of December mean that now is a great time to buy. Uh, you wanna be buying when everyone is selling. You wanna do record buying uh, when everyone's doing record selling and you want to buy the exact things they're selling, and that was first and foremost technology stocks where everyone had the most overweight uh, long positions. What follows a capitulation low? How about a capitulation high as underweight mutual funds, shorts, and perma bears scramble to buy? That next capitulation high is anywhere from three to six months away from now and possibly not till the end of the year. Playing the recovery in tech stocks. 2018 sell-off was a dot-com bust 2.0, creating the best entry point for tech stocks in 10 or 20 years. Tech stocks are now trading cheaper than toilet paper ones. Go figure. Yes, uh, companies that make toilet paper now are trading more expensively than some of the major tech stocks like Apple. How often does a 20% earnings growth sell at a big discount to two percent growth very rarely it's a rare opportunity to get on it's the high growth companies that traded the big premiums not the low growth ones the entire u.s economy is moving online you better reconstruct your portfolio to reflect that apple alone has 17 dollars of downside risk at the most versus 170 dollars upside potential on a five-year view uh, suffice to say, we like Apple down here. I can't tell you how many people uh, were calling and asking, should I sell my Apple now? And I, I, my answer was always the same. I said, no, now's the time to double up, not to sell. That turned out to be a great call. Uh, just to get back to the old high we had in September, tech stocks have to rise 43% in a year. And a lot of the individual stocks, like NVIDIA, for example, uh, or Square have to double to get there in a year. Roku is another double in a year just to get back to its old highs. So the uh, upside potential in a lot of the best quality names is the greatest that we've seen in five years. Get into the following sectors right now. And if you uh, follow me, I'll even give you the name of a good surfing camp in North Africa with a seniors division. Warning, it's a lot harder than it looks. Artificial intelligence. AI is now permeating every aspect of modern society, especially the trading of stocks. AI will determine the success or failure of all products and companies from now on. Trade the market without an AI-driven algorithm helping you at your peril. AI tied in with big data now leads almost every major corporate sales and marketing initiative and of course, you get a good idea of this every time you boot up your computer and you get ads from the uh, uh, last six websites you looked at, sharing my computer with a couple of teenage girls. I have to tell you that what gets pitched to me can be utterly fascinating, like the bathing suit ads. <laughs> the AI big data combo will also cure every major human disease over the next decade, 
creating a trillion dollar a year market for cancer cures alone. Oh, by the way, and the individual stocks to play AI are NVIDIA and the uh, uh, robotics ETF, the bots, B-O-T-Z. That's a basket of uh, artificial, intelligence, artificial intelligence robotic stocks. Cloud-based applications. Yes, cloud, cloud, cloud. I bet you didn't know there were over a 1,000 clouds out there. Uh, connecting them is a fantastic play, but I'll talk about that another time. All major technology companies are shifting to cloud-based strategies. Exponential growth of data means physical on-site storage is becoming impossible. They're just too much. There's no place for it to go but the cloud where capacity is unlimited. Massive cloud growth is creating enormous demand for new internet infrastructure. Cloud-based service providers are one of the fastest growing technology providers. The problem is security. How safe is it? Uh, once you put your data on the cloud, who gets to look at it besides you? Yes, very interesting question. Of course, our favorite cloud plays are CRM, which is Salesforce, Microsoft, and Amazon. Uh, VMware would be another one. Cybersecurity. As the global economy moves online, so will the theft of its most valuable properties. Cybersecurity is an arms race with the stakes rising daily. It's a great setup for investors with a small number of providers facing exponential growth of demand. Most large companies use all of the big three to cover their bases and mitigate risk. Hacking is one of the few recession-proof industries in tech. Everybody is stealing all the time. Uh, again, the play, plays down here are Hack, which is the uh, cybersecurity ETF, Palo Alto, Next, uh, Palo Alto Networks, CyberArk and Okta. Autonomous driving cars, and I've been driving autonomous cars now for a couple of years, or better yet, I've been letting them drive me around, which is great, because they can drive better than I can and at my age. Uh, they can certainly see better at night, especially after I've had a bottle of wine. Military has been the leading spender on autonomous driving and will get a ton of new money. Point-to-point self-driving Tesla is only two years away, and the hardware being installed on new models now. Current applications are only good on freeways and for parking. Uh, Tesla, Google, Uber, and Apple are all striving for the lead. Worker productivity will soar. Imagine how much work you can get done if you start your workday the second you get in your car while your car drives you to work. Accident rate goes to zero, crushing insurance companies and hospitals will become the low-cost volume producer. Right now, it's Tesla, but Google is struggling to catch up. That's my first Tesla there, which managed to get first place in a vintage uh, car contest because it didn't have an engine. People were amazed uh, they, to see the car. They thought it was some sort of a novelty car. Online marketing, yes. Christmas sales were up 20% year on year. While brick and mortar companies like Macy's got crushed, Amazon is taking over the retail world. Suffice to say, Amazon is one of our favorite stocks out there. We've been trading it uh, in and out of that stock ever since it was at $10, which was uh, below the IPO price. Only another Amazon like Alibaba could eventually challenge it. Antitrust or other government rep intervention won't be a problem anytime soon. Amazon Web Services is the 800-pound gorilla you can't see uh, in the cloud, but it dominates big industry. While Amazon has the early lead, others like Microsoft and Apple will emulate its strategy. However, Amazon is likely to break itself up anyway, no matter what the government does, because it'll bring them a trillion dollars in free money. It's just a matter of time before Amazon becomes too big to manage. Uh, that's what the second headquarters search was all about, which ended up choosing uh, Long Island, New York. Retail businesses uh, will grow in the next five years from uh, 600 billion to 1 trillion. Amazon Web Services will grow from 400 billion to 800 billion. Advertising will grow from 10 billion to 50 billion. And other businesses like food and healthcare grow from zero to 150 billion. That puts a total value of all the pieces at two trillion by 2023, more than double the current level. They'll then break it off and sell each entity separately uh, for three trillion. 
uh, a 50% premium. So there's at least a triple in Amazon over the next five years uh, from current levels, especially if you uh, if if they break it up as I expect. Uh, that also heads off any antitrust action sometime in the future. Uh, in any case, Amazon is a middleman for 70% of sales, and there is no vertical integration, so there's no reason to go after them for antitrust reasons anyway. Internet infrastructure. The new tax law created massive breaks for new infrastructure investment. Any progress in a single tech subsector increases demand for all the others. This creates an exponential growth curve for the entire tech industry, which you also see in the share prices, which is how it's come to account for such a large part of the U.S. economy so quickly. And again, you hear a lot about analog growth versus digital growth. Digital growth beats all day long. Tech is growing so fast that it's creating a jump in demand for semi-skilled blue collar and other support jobs as server farms and high-speed transmission towers cover the country. And of course, 5G will you know, increase all this by a factor of two or three. You no longer need a PhD from MIT to get a tech job. And the favorites in this area are Cisco, Intel and uh, Skyworks technology, uh, which provide the guts of the internet in one form or another. By the way, that's a picture of all the adapters I have to take on a trip around the world. Uh, it's about half the weight of my suitcase. Big data applications. The mining of massive databases is now becoming possible for the first time by both government and private industry. Understanding how to access and manipulate this data is the key to understanding the future of marketing, scientific research, the weather, and even politics. IBM's Watson can read all the scientific papers on cancer in eight minutes, all the ones ever published, uh, enabling unprecedented levels of cross-referencing. And by the way, we are now on the third generation of Watson. Big data needs new software applications to enhance understanding and massive server farms to house the data. The, the data. That means you want to go buy Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and Amazon. Fifth generation wireless technology, or 5G. Yes, this is going to be a dominant factor in your life for the next year or two, depending on what kind of phone you have. Uh, and what service provider you have and how fast everything rolls out. Increasing wireless broadband capability will increase performance of many products and services by tenfold. It'll bring a new generation of super fast smartphones and other wireless products. Suddenly many experimental technologies like autonomous driving and AI will become functional and cheap. You'll be able to download a two hour movie on your smartphone in 10 seconds and that's all most people need to know about 5G wireless. Uh, by the way, they will charge more for the service, so get ready for that. <coughs> to participate, you want to buy Verizon, Juniper, Net Juniper Networks, Xilinx, and Siena. Microprocessors and GPUs. This is the high beta, uh, highly volatile sector of technology. You get it right, you can make a fortune. Look for enormous moves up on the outbreak of trade peace with China. In a highly cyclical industry, chip processors are now facing unprecedented shortage for their products. This is enabling companies to increase margins in a rising market. Yes, that's what's coming next. Barriers to new entrants are extremely high at $2 billion a factory. So not, anybody, not everybody has $2 billion spare change sitting around uh, in their sofa. Graphics processor units is leading the charge into AI or GPUs. Industry is consolidating at a tremendous pace, further increasing pricing power. And of course, your top three plays there are NVIDIA, Micron Technology, and Advanced Micro Devices. FinTech or financial technology is turning legacy banking into the next buggy whip industry. Huge, expensive brick and mortar branch networks make it impossible for banks to compete with overhead light fintech companies. Would you rather get a tenth of a percent on your overnight money or 2%? That's what the fintech companies are paying right now for deposits. Blockchain is creating encryption for transaction security on an industrial scale. Regulation like companies have the unfair advantage you are looking for and the top leaders there are Square and PayPal. 
smartphones and their apps. Apple has more at risk in China than any other American company. Trade peace would move, remove that cloud and cause the stock to go ballistic. Smartphones are a global market with plenty of room for growth. China and India will be the next big buyers of smartphones. However, the largest player, Samsung, still only has a 7% market share. Apple dominates with 92% of the profits, which is luring customers up the value chain with ever more expensive phones and more functionality. Smartphone market will eventually double from its current size, and you want to buy Apple and Skyworks solutions. Blockchain technology, you've heard a lot about it in connection to Bitcoin, but the reality is the applications of blockchain uh, are far more effective in conventional type financial trans transactions. While the media is focused on cryptocurrencies, the real brown breaker here is the ground blockchain technology itself. Blockchain could eventually replace the entire banking system. Uh, could also spawn a global currency run by governments eliminating paper money from the U.S. government, which the government would love to be rid of. It will be those who sell the shovels to the gold miners who make the big money, not the miners themselves. Blockchain is creating incredible demand for every corner of Internet infrastructure. Security is still a big issue. $500 million was recently stolen in Japan and that is almost a weekly occurrence in the cryptocurrency space. Uh, blockchain leaders are IBM, NASDAQ, the exchange, which will be the first exchange to use blockchain to settle securities transactions, uh, and Seagate Technologies. Share buybacks, that is another technology supercharger. Technology companies are spinning off profits so fast they are creating massive cash balances. Most prefer organic growth. Uh, that means growing internally, so money isn't spent on takeovers. Dividend demands of a low interest rate world are minimal, so there's nothing for these companies to do but buy back their own shares. 75% of all share buy buybacks take place in tech. When the supply of shares falls, the price can only go up, and that has been working great for the last many years. Who are the biggest technology uh, buyers of their own shares. Well, Apple is far away, number one. Uh, they've committed to buying $150 billion of their own shares by the end of the year, followed by Microsoft, Micron Technology, and Intel. Uh, how do you take advantage of all of these many, many trends, uh, some of them quite complicated going on in technology? You subscribe to the Mad Hedge Technology Letter. The one sector you absolutely must follow on a daily basis. If you only pick one sector at all to follow for the rest of your life, tech is it. And you can even dist distill that, that down to 10 or 20 tech companies, which we follow on a daily basis. That is the real value added of our service. You get a daily read of the most important development in technology, giving you the best possible stock plays. It includes time-sensitive trade alert service, sent out at market sweet spots. It is researched by a dedicated technology analyst based in Silicon Valley. All in all, we, call, we follow uh, several hundred companies. We will send you immediate actual trading and investment ideas on every important stock and subsector in technology. Finally, you can get the detailed understanding of technology you have long been searching for. Uh, most people have a vague idea they should be in tech, but they don't really understand why not only do we give you the why we also give you the how and the wherefore with a blistering earnings growth rate it's just a matter of time for technology stocks break out to new all-time highs uh, watch this space melt up going into the rest of 2019 get ready to start wheeling in those whoppers with the mad hedge technology letter as your guide and that is a 24 inch rainbow trout if anybody's interested near a world record, which I caught in Pyramid Lake in Northern Nevada. Mad Hedge Technology track record is a proven history of delivering blockbuster technology trade recommendations. In-depth research reports on the target company and industry follow shortly. Get in on the early stage of every big trend. Let a 50-year technology veteran translate his experience into winning trades for you. You can take my 50 years of experience 
add it on to your own and you have to have a winning combination for making money with your investments. You wanted to buy the next te technology dip? Here's a dip for the ages. Get a portfolio of the best quality, fastest growing tech stocks you absolutely have to buy right now. And we will be happy to tell you how to play. This is what my tech trade alert service did for you last year, up 31.68% trailing one year return in a market that spent the second half of the year collapsing. We are just short of an all time high. And I would bet that if we mark to market prices today, we will be at a new all time high. And this is basically what we do year in, year out, is go from one high to the next practically every day. Here's how it works. Uh, last year, we discovered that Micron Technology had gotten some enormous orders and the stock was about to take off big time. So what did we do? We shot out a trade alert at a sweet spot by email and text message saying, buy Micron Technology. This is exactly what it looks like at $42.01 or best. It's an opening trade. There's your trade date, portfolio weighting 10%. That meant uh, $10,000 exposure worked out to 238 shares. So if you bought this trade alert, what happened? Well, you got a 15.63% profit in 15 trading days. Do we just sit around and pat ourselves on the back? No, we send out another trade alert. It says take profits. A lot of trade alerts will, trade alert services will get you into positions. They forget to take you out. Often you'll end up losing all your profits. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Take profits, sell Micron technology at 48.58 or best. That's a closing trade, trade date. Uh, on this one trade, which you held for only a few days, you earn $1,563 on a uh, $10,000 investment. Now you can see how it's re realistic to expect a double in the value of your portfolio in a year. And every year we get some people who earn 10 times their money. Uh, these are trade. These are testimonials that come in. Uh, we don't write them. The customers do. Uh, we just sit back and bask in their success. Uh, let me give you some of our past trade alerts. Uh, we recommended Baidu at twelve dollars and fifty cents. It went up two thousand two hundred and forty cents. We recommended Tesla at sixteen dollars and fifty cents. That's after the stock dropped by half after the IPO. It is up 3,735%. We recommended NVIDIA, the GPU maker, at $68. It then shot up 267%. And LAM Research, which makes semicondu semiconductor uh, production equipment, we recommended at 135. That was up 77% in 10 months. Micron technology, we talked about before. We first recommended it at 3750. That went up 73% in one month. You need a real pro to guide you through the technology maze. Not all tech is monolithic. There are both great tech stocks and there are awful tech stocks. You can earn 10 times on the great ones, but you can get wiped out on the lemons. That's why you need a guide like me to steer you through uh, the tricky waters of technology invest investing. Look at the breakup of the fangs with the Amazon holding up incredibly well in the last year while Facebook got absolutely destroyed and is barely recovered. A lot of tech stocks go public right when earnings are peaking uh, and their business models are about to die. That's what makes the tech IPO business especially dangerous 80% of them lose money in the first year. Uh, let me show you what a great tech stock looks like. Advanced Micro Devices, which we've been recommending heavily for the last three years. It went up 366% in two years. And what does an awful stock look like? How about Snapchat, which we recommended that people sell short on the IPO. It has fallen 80% and actually with today's 10% down move, I think we're down more like 90%. So again, you have to be careful in tech stocks. You really need a pro to show you where the winners are and how to avoid the losers. Uh, how about another terrible tech stock? I can't tell you how many people begged me to get into Blue Apron on the IPO there. That's down 90% since the IPO. 
actually was trading uh, right at a dollar for a short period. Uh, why get into a business where there are 20 other companies trying to buy their way in? It's been a disaster for all of them. So here's what I'm not going to charge you for this service. I'm not going to charge you $100,000. That's what I charge my major hedge fund clients for advice on the technology sector. And they're happy to pay me because I make them millions of dollars. And I'm not going to charge you $10,000 a year. That's what I charge my concierge clients for personal one-on-one -on -one counseling. And I'm not going to charge you $3,000. That's the regular price on my website for the Mad Hedge Technology Letter. Call that the full retail price. This is the real deal. Not for you. Creating a service costs me millions of dollars. With the best customer service in the industry running, it costs me millions more. Here's the offer you can't refuse. Today and only through this webinar, you can get one year for just $1,997. That is a one-time only 33% discount from the website price. And by the way, we're only offering 25 subscriptions at that price. It's first come, first serve, uh, so you better get in there now. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. If you don't cover the cost of your sub subscription, executing our trade alerts in the first three months, you will get a free money back refund, no questions asked. With your subscription, you will get a daily research newsletter highlighting the most important developments in tech, immediate actionable text and email trade alerts sent out of market sweet spots, live coaching with a bi-weekly strategy webinar, same-day answers to emailed questions about specific tech companies, special reports on the dominant trends and players in tech, access to a technology 10-year database online, gain an unfair advantage in the most important investment theme of your lifetime with the best decision you have ever made. Here's the offer you can't refuse. Today and only through this webinar, let me show you how to make the money to pay for your own subscription Subscribe now and you will immediately receive an urgent trade alert on the tech stock you must buy right now. It will probably cover the cost of this letter for the first three months, if not the first several years. Just click on the link on the chat box on the right. That's the only way you can access this offer. You can't get it on our website. Uh, this is a one-time opportunity only. Uh, let me give you some testimonials, and I will go through some questions that have come in by email. Um, Roberto in Miami, Florida, when will the next recession start? Uh, Roberto, I'm looking for the end of 2019 at the latest. The stock market may be telling you now that a recession has already started, but it is wrong. I expect the stocks, especially technology stocks, to go to new highs first in 2019 and then start to discount the recession after that. Uh, Hans in Frankfurt, Germany is asking, where will interest rates peak in this cycle? Well, my long-term forecast is that they would peak at 10, uh, 4% for the 10-year Treasury bond, but lately Goldman Sachs and Janet Yellen are saying we already peaked at 325. Uh, we shall see uh, if the uh, uh, China trade war ends and the government shutdowns ends, I will be right. If it doesn't, then they will be right. Uh, let me get a tech question here. What's your take on the chip industry? Uh, this is the most volatile uh, sector of the tech industry, which gives you the greatest opportunities. So you have to buy them very, very cheap. They were very, very cheap in December. Not sure I want to chase them now, but uh, I would certainly be buying at a dip from here on. There's a double in all the main chip stocks from here. Uh, here's another question. Will, de will regulation be a problem in 2019? I would say no. Uh, with the government closed, you're not going to get any new regulation on anything. Uh, after that, I think uh, uh, very little will be coming out of Washington for the next two years. Uh, okay, we have uh, let's see, a lot of questions here. Uh, at the, 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 uh, Jim in Austin, Texas wants to know, will Apple keep growing or is it peaking out here? Um, Apple is not just about cell phones anymore. Uh, as Apple moves headlong into cloud-based services and things like 
healthcare and services, it will continue to grow. I would buy it on the next major dip. We had a dip that was a great buying opportunity. We're already up 10% from there. So again, I would keep buying Apple on the dip. Uh, Tim in San Francisco is asking, are the Chinese a threat to US technology leadership? Uh, Tim, they aren't now, but uh, they will in the future if we get lazy. I see a little chance of that happening now. US tech companies are the most innovative, aggressive, and predatory in the world. While some apps are a huge success in China, they don't transport well to the US. You can't copy yourself to leadership. That's what the Chinese have been doing until now. Uh, let's see, next question. Um, uh, Josie Ann of Ann Arbor, Michigan is asking, why has Netflix gone down so much when the earnings report was so good? <clears throat> <clears throat> well, Josie Ann, uh, the problem is that Apple, Amazon, and Disney are all trying to pile into Netflix's business and eat their lunch. They can pour a lot more capital uh, than Netflix can into this business. However, Netflix has the experience. They have a 20-year head start over all the other competitors. That is worth a lot. Uh, someone is asking, would you buy Facebook here? Absolutely not not for the short term, uh, dealing with fake news and security is going to cost them a fortune. I hate it along with other social media stocks, along with Twitter. Uh, long term, they'll figure it out, but short term, there are better fish to fry. Uh, okay, looking for more questions here. And I've got a million of them. Uh, Joel in New York City, how often is the newsletter sent out? Uh, answer is four times a week, Monday, Thursday, and Friday is a research uh, day. You end up getting about 200 newsletters uh, a year. In a year, you will become a real expert on technology, I guarantee you. Uh, Bill in Portland, Oregon, can I talk to you directly? Uh, Bill, the answer is yes. I spend part of every day calling readers and looking for ways to improve the service. You can email them anytime, and I always answer same day. Also, we have biweekly strategy webinars, which you uh, can get access to a chat box like this one. Uh, okay, here's a funny one. Uh, you obviously have enough money. Why are you doing this? Teaching people how to make money and secure their financial future is the love of my life. When I was on Wall Street, I used to see so many people get ripped off by brokers. It made me sick. This is my chance to level the playing field uh, for the regular guy. Uh, Robert in Seattle, Washington, what's the minimum amount of money I can invest with your service? Uh, Robert, I'd say uh, 5,000 to be safe, but I've seen people do it with as little as $500. Uh, we literally have students uh, trading off their uh, dorm room beds. Uh, if you subscribe, you'll also get a free copy of my best-selling book, Stocks to buy for the coming roaring 20s. We have it on our website for sale now for $49. Uh, my only warning is that some of the stocks have already doubled. All I can say is get it now before they double again. Uh, buy now and you will instantly receive a technology trade alert with an extremely high probability of success, a 13% profit in the next four weeks. You can execute immediately and make some of the most serious money in your life. Don't leave money on the table. That's what a lot of people are doing right now. 90% of these trailers make money immediately, and most people end up paying for their subscription for the year on the first trade. Uh, and I'll give you a little hint here. This is the chart of the trailer. Of course, I stripped the prices and the name off. But this trailer will get sent to you immediately if you subscribe. You have to go through a thousand charts to find one this good. Let me do the heavy lifting for you. All you have to do is execute the trades. You'll have enough to retire in luxury. So here's the offer you can't refuse uh, today and only through this webinar, one year for just $1,997. Just click on the link on the chat box on the right. That'll take you to the dedicated sales page where you can sign up. And I'll keep going through a few more of these questions. Uh, Roger in Richmond, Virginia, do you offer training with a subscription? 
Uh, Roger, we offer more training than you can use in a lifetime with books and training courses. Every trailer that goes out includes a link to a video on how to exactly execute it with your own online trading platform. Uh, okay, uh, da, 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 da. here's one about the dollar. Da, da, da. Uh, when does the newsletter come out? George is asking in Austin, Texas. Uh, it gets posted at midnight Eastern uh, every night for the next day. So you have plenty of time to read it before the market opens and then act upon it. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, looking for more questions here. Um, da, da, da. Uh, let's see. Do, do you expect more volatility in tech shares? Uh, we've just seen a 20-year volatility peak in tech shares, and that is now collapsing. Um, you may get little short bouts of volatility, but basically the volatility spike is behind us. I look for <coughs> tech stocks to steadily rise for the next three to six months at least, and possibly for the rest of the year. Uh, what about Salesforce, somebody is asking? That's the ticker symbol of CRM. Uh, this is one of the great customer relationship management companies operating in the cloud. We've been in and out of the stock frequently for the last three years. We expect it to double from here. That is a no-brainer pick of ours, one of maybe 25 no-brainer picks that we have in total. Uh, okay, just let me take a look. Uh, Ivan in Portland, Oregon, in Portland, Maine, wants to, to know how I describe my trading philosophy. Uh, Ivan, I use fundamentals for my long-term call and technicals for my short-term execution. This is what ever, uh, every long-term pro does. We probably spend 95% of our time doing deep research on all the leading tech names so we know which ones to pick for you. Uh, okay, well, that is about it for today. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I look forward to working with you. I can see a lot of you have already bought. Uh, I have my uh, store open on another screen. I can see that uh, a lot of people are piling in. In fact, we've almost used up all the 25 subscriptions allocated to this webinar. So uh, thank you very much for joining. Uh, this is John Thomas, the Mad Hedge Fund Trader, signing off for today, and I'll leave this page open for few more minutes just so you can have access to the link to the sales page. Uh, thank you very much. Good luck and good trading.